I'm doing a collab today, so I already got foundation on. Um, but I do need to, uh, it looks kind of pale and kind of lackluster, but, um, I'm doing a collab with J Girl Beauty and MUA. I'll leave everything down in my description box as I usually do. And, um, we are going to use the Gothic Beach palette. Okay. So there are shimmers in here, right? I really don't want to use any shimmers. The last collab we did was the Scorpio palette, which was really, really pretty. But <clears throat> with this palette, I have uh, you know, my, my fall vibes, right? So I have like, I would kind of go, child, I don't know. I think I would go from this to this no i don't know but i definitely want to use one of the greens i want to use this i like this this is i love there's something about this orange shade pinks and everything look like shit on me but i love these oranges but i want to have that this one and one of these purples um and i don't think i will be doing a shimmer i don't um because this palette speaks to me with a with a matte look i really want to do in my inner corner this bone looking white this can it's called anti sunburn so um you know i never know how a palette is how a look is going to turn out when i do the first look with a palette i like to play with a palette for a few days like a week you know and then i kind of know it's easier but for the first time using one i don't really have to do a first impression because jeffrey palettes uh I trust his quality. So I, I did my foundation first because I know there's not going to be any fallout. So I have no problem with that. But I'm really excited. And I'm really excited because of the color story. What is she going to use? Because um, she likes to do double cut creases. Um, but when I'm doing my matte one, I think I'm going to do the green for the Beach Ball Dreamer for my transition shade. And... Um, and then I think we'll go on with the oranges and the purple. So and let me do my eyebrows and I'll come and pick out my brushes and then we'll start from there. Big difference, huh? Doesn't look half, half chopped off, but big difference. So we're going to start off with that very pretty green, that beach ball dreamer. <clears throat> I'm just taking like this bling brush like this. So flat looking one. It's very, very flat. And I'm going to just go up here see i got hooded eyes i kind of got to do it when i'm staring straight in the mirror like you know straight and kind of do it like that and i have to pack it on a little bit to get the full color so it's going to take a second i just gotta lay my line to make sure it's straight as straight as i can get it so and i think that's going to be I'm not going all the way down though. I think this is also going to be my under eye color. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Here we are getting to the wrinkles, so we got to be a little careful here. Uh, skin changes day to day once you get in your late 40s. So, I can't believe I'm going to be 49 this year. It's just ridiculous. Um, it's just. You know, there are so many things you look back on that you just don't when you're younger, you know. So, no regrets, though. I mean, well, sure, I do have some. But, you know, and the majority of how things have turned out in the long run, I am a very, very happy person. Um, I'm not rich. Um, I, I'm one of those who, who kind of managed to sustain somehow. But, you know, um, I'm absolutely happy with how everything is. So I cannot complain at all. So I'm going to take this little tiny brush. It's like a Jeffree Star Morphe. I got to glue it. It broke. Um, I got this from Becca's Beauty. So, and I'm just going to go on my under eye. Now my under eyes are very dark, even though I already put concealer and everything on. So they don't really show green like they should. So I'll do the other one be right back. Screw it. I'm using the other brush again. It just seems to work better. 
Oh yes, what a big difference. So there's that for now. I'm going to cut a crease and then I'm going to go on with the, the true colors. <laughs> um, so, oh, smells good in my house. Smells like pork chops. Pork chops back there cooking. So let me get, I've got an eyeshadow that's really little. Oh, I just put way too much on my hand, but it's really, really light. And so it works great uh, to cut a crease. And that's what I'm going to do with that using i don't know why i picked up this brush to use it for that but anyways i did so we're just going to cut a crease that way i can fluff out that green later that works all right on for the next one good for now i have all this foundation on my hand which i don't know what the hell i was thinking but anyways, here's a topic for you. Who's excited to see the new Beetlejuice? Oh my God, you know, it's like two days after my birthday. Because mine's on the 4th, and I think I just had a lash floating on me somewhere. But, um, oh, I can't wait to see it. I mean, I get tears in my eyes just watching the preview. Because I remember the first time I watched it, I was um, in the living room on the couch when I lived with my parents in Berlin, Germany. And um, I had nothing to watch. Everything on TV was shitty because we had AFN Berlin, which is like a TV radio station just for military people because they spoke German and we had, you know, the English channel. But that's the only channel we had. And so um, it was really great because so uh, I used the VHS, which is a video recorder back in the days. Yeah, we're old here. And um, I was homesick from school and I just decided to pop that on. Didn't know what it was. I know that I knew that my parents had seen it, but I hadn't seen it yet. So I was like, well, let's figure out. Let's see. Let's see what this is all about. And I watched it and I was just so obsessed. I was just like, oh my God, I love this movie. Okay. So next, okay. So we did the green. Next, I'm going to go in with, um, I want to use that bone color and go ahead and put her in the front. Okay. She is pretty similar to the cut crease color, but she is not the cut crease color so you can see a little difference you'll see it once you start putting on like the oranges and purples okay but i like her i like these new i really like whites i do oh i have a hot flash all right so we're going to go on to this this is what i've been using to rub my brushes and my stuff on um, I usually have like um, a kitchen towel that I buy for a dollar and I put it here with all my stuff on it and then I'll wash it once or twice and then it's really stained and it looks icky and then I'll throw it away and then I've got like these and then I'll wash them use them maybe once or twice and throw them away you know um, or I have my good old makeup towel that my mom gives me which had that for years and years um and it doesn't stay it's black like it rarely ever stains so that, that that was a good idea mom okay so now i'm going to go into this purple this one here it's called piranha pretty all right that's a very beautiful like lavender purple it reminds me of the cake palette from it reminds me of the cake palette from Glam Light. So we're going to put that. We're going to smudge that right there with that. Okay, so she is a little very light. Okay, so let's go in with her again. Okay, now she's working. She's working now. Let's do that again. We're just going to go straight down. We can do all the blending a little later. I just want to get her there. All right, then I'm going to go on with that next one, which is, okay, this Vixen Vibration. That is a beautiful color, too. Hmm. Let's see if we can get those two to work out together. So I think the orange is going to look really good once it's mixed in with that. Rusty orange. So it is kind of messing with my crease. I'll have to fix that. See right there? 
how it's messing with my crease. As long as it ties up in the end, I really can give two shits. All right, so now we're going to go in with my favorite color of the palette. It's called Rusty Anchor, that one right there. I think it'll go good with this uh, Vixen color right there. Oh, and does it? It does. Yeah, that's pretty looking. It goes really good with it. Okay. So now that we have that one, I'm going to go in with this really beautiful Gothic Yacht. That's that one right there. Now, she looks uh, kind of like a brick and a red at the same time. It looks kind of brown, but it's not. It's like, it's like, a, it's like, see, it's kind of like a reddish brown. So I'm going to be careful with her. Um, because I don't want it to end up washing out and turning pink. Because y'all know I do, I, I don't really dig pinks much. So I'm just going to do it like that. I don't have to fix that crease. Okay. Then for the other side. I bet you can make it like a really nice fall rainbow with this palette. Put some more of that orange there. I see some patchiness. And I can't say if it's the shadow or my stupid foundation that I put underneath it. But we're going to go in a bit a little bit more with that purple that we had. And then we're going to go in with that other lavender that we had. So it's starting to look a little better. Now we're going to take that really, really light lavender. And that one's called, oh, boy, spelled B-U-O-Y. And we're going to kind of like go in there just a little bit so it matches, so it goes over to the bone color. So it kind of blends. Okay. So in the bottom, I kind of want to, and I'm not sure, damn it. Okay. Boy. So the bottom, I think I'm going to go for that par uh, Piranha Pretty, that purple. Oh. Time for some new contacts. Okay, so now I'm going to soften up that and do the rest, and we'll be right back. Okay. Y'all hear Twilight in the background with all them wolves? So, I'm trying to uh, purpose the rest of this because <laughs> I don't want to let it go. It's got such a pretty case. Um, and I'm just going to give me a little sunburn kiss, just a little rosiness, because it is a gothic beach. But I don't want it to be too bright, because I want it to still be kind of like a pale. Okay, and we're going to do, I don't know how this lipstick is going to look. But if I don't like it, I can always take it off. I got it from the Ice Cream Beauty Box, and it's called Stina Face. It looks really rich. Let me see what color it looks like. Okay, well, we'll see. Let me put on some balm first. Because you know I got them lines. And this is, um, I think this, yeah, this is Sol de Janeiro. Tastes like coconut. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I like this. I like the shape because then I can go over my cupid's bow good. Really cool. Yep. 
All right, that's going to be staying out for a while. This is it. Uh, let me do some setting spray. Okay, this is a uh, setting spray from Beauty Creations. It was also gifted to me from Janelle. Uh, I like that they have stepped up their game. They used to be like their shadows or the glitters were really chunky. Now they're nice and almost like foil. Um, if you can remember from like some of the violet bosses. Yeah. So, all right, but that's it. That's how we're going today. So what do you think of this matte gothic beach look? <laughs> Y'all go check out my friend Janelle. She's probably going to do her cut, double cut crease because she's really good at that. And um, if y'all go check her out, tell her I said hi. And thanks for everybody for watching me. And I love you so much.